Hi guys, so uh, given that it's winter and you're going to want to get out and uh, maximise the use of your e-bike in these conditions because it's perfectly suited for winter conditions um, then you're going to want to make sure that in equal measure you take care and maintain the bike as well and a prime part of this is going to be making sure that you just give the bike a wash um, if you look at it today Mine's been out uh, on a night ride, which was particularly muddy, and um, all of the key areas that you need to look after and maintain, i.e. your drivetrain, around the hub motor, the disc brakes, tyres, etc. And of course, the forks are absolutely filthy and caked in mud. And if you leave this to dry, which uh, I'm actually guilty of doing in this instance overnight, it will go rock hard and it will make your life a lot more difficult. As you can see, what this is doing in this particular instance, it's actually, doesn't, doesn't affect it at the moment, but long term if you leave it like that, you might find your derailleur stops working properly and you're gonna have to keep cleaning out the jockey wheels, for instance, or the cables are gonna get caked in dry mud and you won't actually be able to shift at all. Um, so yeah. Here are a few easy steps to make sure that you can safely clean and maintain your e-bike. doesn't have to be the Carrera Vulcan, uh, just e-bikes in general, safely and uh, without any issues. So the first step always for me is, even though it's waterproof to a certain extent, is to remove the battery. Um, obviously if you have a more expensive, um, possibly uh, mid-drive bike you're likely to have a, an integrated battery so that may not necessarily be an issue but if it's um, an externally mounted battery pack like this just remove it um, it doesn't matter if you get a little bit of water on those contacts because you can dry those out and then lubricate them at a later time and of course you'll want to remove the controller as well and make sure that when you take the controller off you push the plate up as well which will protect those contacts there that's all you need to do and then what you want to do um, first is make sure that you can get the bulk of the hard to shift dirt off by just getting everything a bit damp. So you just want to spray it, um, or you can use obviously a sponge, bucket and water, um, and get everything softened down and you can start cleaning. So in this situation I find that using a low to medium pressure uh, pressure washer that is designed specifically for actually cleaning bikes like the Moby wash which I've got here the smaller capacity one um, Is going to do the job perfectly well and especially if you've got an e-bike where you don't want to obviously Be putting undue water pressure on those contacts uh, And just generally for bikes you don't want to be pushing too much water into bearings and the drivetrain derailleur etc Because that will give you problems longer term um, in this instance, um, this smaller version of the Moby Wash, I think I picked this up for about 60 quid on Chain Reaction, but you might be able to get it cheaper now, especially with the, well Black Friday's just gone, but Cyber Monday, you should be able to get a good deal on that. Anyway, all you need to get this working is, I would advise putting hot, not boiling, but hot water in there, fill it up fully, so you can do a pre-wash and then rinse down the soap. Um, and then all you need is to have your car nearby and a 12 volt lighter socket so that you can power this thing up. So once you're all hooked up and ready to go, you'll just want to pick up the nozzle, give it a little once over, as you can see. Just get in there, get all of these areas wet. Just sufficiently to soften it all off so that you can actually use the soap and water and get in there and uh, give it a bit more of a, a proper thorough clean. Um, you'll just notice the, a little bit of hypocrisy there. Um, I did say that you can safely use water on the contacts there, it's not a problem however, because I'm a bit more risk averse, I've covered it up with a bit of gaffer tape so you may want to do that just to uh, give yourself a bit of an insurance policy.
So again, now even though the bike is looking a lot cleaner, what you're not aiming for here is a kind of full-on cosmetic detailing like a car. The most important thing if you're riding in these kind of conditions, particularly in muddy, sloppy conditions, is to make sure that your gear cable is fully clean and obviously should be lubricated as well, but we'll look at that in another video. And then most importantly, around the crank set here, you've got a number of components which particularly on an e-bike are of critical importance to be kept clean. So obviously the chain, you need to make sure that the actual cranks themselves are clean. Pedals not so much, not that important, but obviously give them a bit of a clean down. The chain ring should be free from any gunk and then lubricated. Again, we'll look at that in another video. And then actually in the bones here of the drivetrain around this crank, crank set and chain ring, you've got the torque sensor which is down at the bottom here and you've got a number of cables that are obviously interacting with the battery and then shooting off to the motor here so you'll need to make sure all of that's clean unobstructed and of course finishing off the drivetrain you want to make sure that your derailleur both the jockey wheels are fully clean free of obstructions stones anything and of course you want your cassette to be fully clean and then able to be lubed up properly. Same goes again on the other side for your brake discs and then this area here where the standard neoprene cover is which connects the motor with the battery um, you'll want to take that off, dry it, probably either use a hair dryer on it or just uh, dry it on a radiator and then get it back on when it's perfectly dry um, as part of that you'll want to probably take the connectors out and make sure that everything's dry in there if not give it a little spray with some contact lube um, and then you're good to go so yeah hopefully this video has been useful to you um, what you'll want to do to dry it down is just give it a few bumps up and down just drop the bike allow all the drips to get out and then give it a once over with a dry cloth as I say lube up the chain make sure you squirt a little bit of WD-40 into any of the squeaky parts, um, particularly if you've got uh, anything like the suspension post that I've got for the seat post. Um, you want to make sure as well, whatever suspension forks you've got, do not use anything abrasive and certainly don't use any degreasers or anything that's kind of lubricating on those upper stanchions those should just be washed down with soap and water and then dried so there you have it if you like this video guys you know what to do thumbs up comments always welcome and i'll see you in the next video